welcome back to my channel Iraqi Dinar Digest, where I share the news about Iraqi Dinar and Vietnamese Dong so let's dive into today update, news hound guru militia man recently pointed out that there have been numerous articles about Iraq's progress towards joining the WTO, confirming that the country has completed its requirements. Now, the focus is on final preparations for going international. He suggests that what remains is the unveiling of the 2024 tripartite budget, which is crucial because it includes components for investment to fund development projects. This budget could be the key to Iraq moving forward on the global stage. Intel guru Wolverine, via Judy Byington, stated that the process has definitely begun, and it is expected to reach completion within the next few days, or at the latest by the end of this month. Newshound Guru Pimpy explained the difference between Kuwait and Iraq's currency situations. When Iraq invaded Kuwait, the Kuwaiti dinar denominations remained the same, such as the quarter, half, one, five, and ten notes. After Iraq was expelled, Kuwait simply redenominated their currency by changing the design of the banknotes but didn't change the nominal value or delete zeros because their currency wasn't inflated like Iraq's. Iraq, on the other hand, faced massive inflation after Saddam Hussein printed excessive amounts of money, leading to higher denominations with added zeros. Pimpy suggests that if Iraq returns to a higher exchange rate like $3.28 per dinar, it would likely first remove the zeros from their inflated currency. For example, a 25,000 dinar note could become a 25 dinar note. If the exchange rate becomes $3.28, the 25 dinar note would be worth $82. While it's possible Iraq could leave the zeros on the currency, the odds are that they will delete them before adjusting the exchange rate. This scenario means that post-reform, currency holders will likely be dealing with smaller denominations valued more appropriately. Intel guru Marks, via PDK, highlighted that Iraq now holds 152 tons of gold, making it the third largest Arab nation in gold reserves. Compared to other regional currencies like Jordan and Kuwait, Iraq surpasses many in resources and physical gold. Iraq is also diversifying its economy beyond oil, bolstering the stability needed to support a higher currency value. Marx recalled Dr. Shabibi's statement that a safer, more stable Iraq would result in a stronger dinar. Given Iraq's current safety and stability efforts, the country is positioning itself for a more valuable currency in the future.